Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com. Today with another ROM and a flash review for Samsung Captivate. Today it's the highly anticipated Cognition version 4. And uh, <clears throat> this is from Design Gears, obviously a well-loved Captivate uh, developer. Got my custom boot screen on there. For the custom boot screen video, check it out here. I have verified it does work on KB1 releases, so you'll be able to continue using that mod. Um, for all future use um, of many of the Captivate ROMs, so no worries there, it does work correctly. Obviously running the uh, standard AT&T kernel, as you saw there. This ROM is already outfitted with Voodoo Lag Fix as well as custom Clockwork Mod Recovery with advanced lag fix features. It's been uh, hardened against ads, it's got anonymous stats collection, and a couple other things. And it sports TouchWiz launcher out of the box, which provides for a very smooth uh, look and feel. Obviously, we've got the Welcome Cognition Force, so we've gotten that added to the line there. And uh, kind of gives it a, a little more custom ROM type feel. Uh, we don't have a SIM in this particular phone, but call quality and all that was fantastic. The Cognition series has been well known uh, throughout the Captivate community for stability. Um, it's actually very swift and stable. It's the closest thing you can get to stock stability, but still get all the custom ROM features that you like, such as advanced power menus like this. You can get your easy reboot recovery and download power menus. Uh, stuff you can't get on a, you know, um, a non-custom ROM. It's also pre-rooted out of the box, which is great. Um, other things to note for this ROM are the accurate battery mod. Uh, side loading is enabled out of the box. A couple other things. Um, Tethering is enabled out of the box. All the Samsung apps and AT&T apps have been removed. You can see what's been removed on the XDA developers thread. There is a link to uh, the Ponac website to show you what's been removed from this ROM. So if you're worried about not having a particular Samsung or AT&T app there, you can check that out as well. Some of the custom uh, root specific apps that have been added have been Titanium Backup, which you can see there, and ROM Manager, which you can see there. Um, Obviously, if we go into the About build, we can check out the specifics on this particular ROM. Very swift ROM, very smooth, nice stock feel to it. Obviously, build number is Cognition 4, uh, stock kernel, and the KV1 baseband for the modem, uh, which also represents the uh, build source that we've gotten on here as well. So it's 2.2 uh, Froyo. Um, and uh, I believe it actually dropped officially from AT&T as well, so I'm going to be doing some OTA updates and seeing if I can get that over the air uh, after I flash back to stock and see what happens, because I think it may actually officially be out now. I know it dropped for long enough for these developers to uh, scoop it up and get this out, so um, we'd be excited to see an official release as well, although this is, this is pretty much it. I mean, this is what you've been waiting for for months now, so... Um, in addition to all this, obviously bootanimation.zip support is native to the phone. Uh, be sure to stick around for a few scores. Afterwards, we'll be showing you the, uh, the Linpack, the Quadrant, the Ninemark, and the Neocore scores at the end. Uh, we're probably going to drop that out of the ROMs uh, reviews from now on. It adds a little time to the review, and to be honest, uh, I was getting tired of watching those uh, probably as well as you are. Uh, you just want the scores. You don't need to watch the, uh, the thing. So I appreciate the constructive criticism that I received on that. Um, also, um, in addition to all this, obviously we've got stock TouchWiz theming. Uh, all the apps have been updated. So all your Google apps, the market, all that stuff's been updated. Haptic feedback works throughout the entire ROM. And we've got lock screen sounds enabled by default. Now, DG is going to be working on uh, potentially getting us the uh, multi-unlock screen update uh, to be pushed for this phone. Um, it's actually pretty tricky, though. It's a lot of framework uh, development and a lot of things to, to get that to work. It's not as easy as just dragging and dropping some files or code. So be patient. It may not happen, but if it does, just be grateful for it. And uh, be patient with them, man. I've been on the Atrix forums uh, because we've got the all-new Atrix in-house now. And um, he's been doing a ton of work over there. So uh, if he doesn't get back to your question, uh, I would probably recommend just posting up in the thread versus PMing him because when you're that busy, there's probably a lot of things going on. So be sure to donate to the developer. Um, DG puts a lot of work into these ROMs, and he does it all for the fans. And uh, we really appreciate that. So I really recommend that you donate to him as well as any of the other developers that I cover in these threads. 
Um, I'll give you a quick look at the recovery uh, for this particular phone. Obviously it's the red uh, Clockwork Mod flag fix options built in and it's a nice touch to have here. So if you're looking for something really stock, really close to the original and you really don't want to walk away from stability but you want some of that custom uh, look and feel as well as a natively rooted ROM, uh, look no further. Cognition has it for you. There's a couple other KB1 ROMs out there as well. I'll be reviewing. I'm sure they're great too. This is just one of them. So I'm um, not playing favorites here, but this is a great KB1 ROM. And many of you have come to know that Cognition is a really stable ROM uh, for a true Captivate ROM. So there is the uh, the um, Clockwork Mod uh, with Voodoo Lag Fix options there. And very easy to navigate. Lots of stuff there. So... Um, you know, pretty cool stuff there. Keep in mind that we do have the download mode jigs available still for $10 a pop in the uh, product section of our website. They've been selling really well and um, I couldn't live without mine so I'm sure some of you guys that have bought from me can't live without yours as well. It's as easy as popping the jig in, set it down, boom, download mode ready to flash. So don't forget to pick that up. If you haven't picked up one yet, don't wait till you break. Pick one up today. But anyways, that's Cognition 4 from Design Gears for the Samsung Captivate. This has been a ROMs in a flash feature for Captivate brought to you by MobileTechVideos.com. Check us out at MobileTechVideos.com, as I just mentioned. And be sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content. And uh, also, if you're in the market for an Atrix or you have an Atrix, check out the all-new Atrix tech pages that we've added. We're updating content for the Atrix every single day. It's already been rooted. You can already tether and uh, DG's working a lot of stuff on that as well. So if you're looking for an Atrix, um, it may be a hot device to pick up as well. So check that out over at our site as well. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you're ready to flash this ROM, good luck.